the greatest miracle the world has ever seen. That's why we are indebted to the Jew. Was the night of the Passover in Egypt. The blood on the lintels of the doorposts and eating the roasted lamb with hyssop and bitter herbs. Mm -mm -mm, that bitter herbs is the past. That wasn't pleasant. No, sir. Mm. Wow. So it wasn't a delightful meal to the palate. But they had to eat it. Yeah, the sufferings they went through, they ate it. And when they did it, the blood was for the sins. And the body of the roasted lamb was for healing. Hallelujah. And that was only the type or the shadow. The real thing was to come. The Paschal Lamb of God. And John the Baptist said, Behold, look, the Lamb of God which take away the sins of the world. And let me tell you this. It wasn't Jews alone that left Egypt. You know? It wasn't Israelites only. A mixed multitude. Some of the Gentiles, some maybe were Egyptian, some were maybe Hittites. Remember, Egypt was a superpower, you know. And all different types of people came in there to work, just like in America, how they brought America, looking for work. That's right. That was what happened in Egypt for years. There were different uh, nations and people that were inside there working. And when they saw what happened nine times <laughs> they said if he was right nine times or ten times we wouldn't mess it up and they found themselves in jewish homes begging please take me in and when they left egypt was destroyed and they went with the children of israel there were Gentiles that came out. So even in Egypt, you saw that God was trying to show us that whatever he's doing is not just exclusively, but all those that will obey. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's why the church has to be careful that the church of Jesus Christ don't become an exclusive club. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, uh, check in. I think I'm going to read the scripture the same as this morning. Because this, I call this the Jewish intercessory prayer time. I am crucified with Christ. If you check in Outreach Ministries International, Jerry Prescott, they are running it through right now, the system in Trinidad. So all those who follow me there, you will see it. Amen. Plus these from my home where I'm living in New York here. I'm trapped in New York. That's right. I'm trapped just like you. God got me and my wife staying here. Can't move until the doors are open. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live unless a grain of wheat fall into ground and die, it abideth alone, Jesus said. And when you believe on Jesus, you're crucified with him. And out of that death rises a new life. And hear what he said, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. 
This is the only covenant that shows that not only our lives are hid in Christ in God, but Christ is in us and the Godhead dwell in us bodily. That's why I tell you the new covenant is the greatest covenant God ever devised in eternity's past. All the rest of types and shadows, this is the real deal. Get on board. Hallelujah. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. And then in Romans chapter 1 and verse 16, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, because for it it, it is the power of God unto salvation, deliverance, to everyone. You notice, nothing exclusive here. It is open to all. To all. To everyone that believe it. To the Jew first. Uh -huh. That's why I take today out that we could remember the Jew. The Jew first. And also to the Greek or the Gentiles. Hallelujah. Yes, and many times we are guilty. When last did you pray for the Jew? Let's be fair. We see them. Some countries, they don't know them. In the rural areas, you'll find them more in the cities. All in Africa, you'll find them as traders around the world. Amen. When last did you remember to ask God to save the Jew? Huh? In New York, yeah, you see them all the time. Like in London, you see them. That's right, in Toronto, you will see them. But New York is a heart trap of the Jew. The largest Jewish city in the world. Tel Aviv is joke to New York. Hallelujah. And I want all those that are listening, we're going to pray for the Jew. Because it's Passover. Amen. Listen. The greatest miracle, as I said, happened that the world has ever seen happen in Egypt. So when they said Africa was a dark, is a dark continent, that's not true. Don't forget, you know, if you fall back the Suez Canal with sand, it's sand. Then Israel is a part of the African continent. Where the canal is come down on the coast there, where they cut with the Suez Canal. That was the King's Highway. Every major nation to flex their muscles and make themselves the ruler of the earth had to tackle Egypt. They had to go to Egypt. You could not be the master of the world unless you capture Egypt. The land of the pharaohs, the land of the pyramids, the land of the one river, the Nile. Amen. The Syrian, the Assyrians, the Babylonians, in order to be masters of the world, had to come up, defeat Assyria, come down. Hallelujah. So Israel was the battleground. You had to go to, that's why Israel had to really depend upon their God. Amen. So Israel is a part of the African continent. So don't tell me, uh, calling it a dark continent. Uh -uh -uh -uh. Amen. 
So therefore, the Jew is important. Don't dismiss him as a traitor and this. And, no, no, no. Everywhere they are celebrating, even the unorthodox Jew is celebrating the Passover. That's right. But for the first time since Egypt, each family, the only way you had a next family coming into that house is if they were too poor. Two will put together. Ah. But it was every family in the house. This is a significant thing that has happened now to the world. How come the whole world is closed down? Not by atomic bomb or hydrogen bomb or cobalt bomb. They refuse to experiment the, uh, with the cobalt bomb. Because they are afraid that if they explode the cobalt bomb, they have it in theory. The whole world, the earth will disintegrate, the heavens will disintegrate. They haven't gone there, they stop. <laughs> they stop at hydrogen. Yeah. This is significant. My brothers and sisters, listen to me around the world. This is significant. God is sending a signal to the believers. Behold, I come quickly. I am at the door knocking. Hallelujah. Strange that this thing happened. The whole of Holy Week closed down according to the, the Christian. And the Passover is celebrated in every home. The Jewish homes. Isn't that strange? Take notice when these things happen. And Easter, the believer now, today a lot of folks should have been in church around the world. St. Peter's Basilica should have been filled. The Via Dolorosa should be jammed with pilgrims. Uh huh. Walk in the way where Jesus walked. Thousands go to Israel at this time. And God stopped everything. He says, hold it. Affect economies. Those who were making money, banking on it. And the whole tourist trade around the world has collapsed. Hotels are empty. God is get, has gotten the families. Especially I'm dealing with the Christian. The born again. Myself and my wife is here. My son and his family is in his home. He said, my daughter, she's home in a house. First time that has happened around the world. And God is dealing with the believers. Hallelujah. And the major thing is, he's letting them know individually individually stop pouting your mouth like some little child when you're in a pout your mouth stop doing that stop stoopsing why am I this as a believer the question is lord what is your purpose for me That we can rethink, reevaluate what how we were operating. We forget the Jew. I am guilty too, but I talk to them every occasion. <laughs> I talk to them, so then I meet them, and they're receptive. Some don't even answer you. They just continue going where they're going. Are you you're hearing me? Let us re-evaluate 
we owe the Jew something. From him came the Messiah. Yes. You can't get around that. Mm. Folks are telling me uh, sometimes, oh, this Bible and this is a, a Caucasian book. That's the biggest light petal from hell. Not one Caucasian. They're still arguing whether Luke was a Jew. <laughs> All of the things in this Bible were written by Jews. So this is no Caucasian book. Don't try that, you, 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 you imp, you devil. Satan, you are a liar and the father of lies. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. Reverend Giff is with us. I'll ask him to pray for the Jew. Hallelujah. That God will open their eyes. I, 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 yes. I, the Lord lead me to, I've never done it before, to pray exclusively for the Jew today. On their Passover. Some of them are watching right now. Around the world. I'll ask Reverend Lloyd Giff. Amen. A veteran in the feet. A father Amen. in the feet. Jesus, yes. A lot of folks calling themselves apostles and all kind Amen. of things. <laughs> no. Yes, I have a title. This is a father of the feet. Amen. A long legacy. He has left behind people. Carriacou, Grenada, St. Vincent, St. Lucia, through the Caribbean, Tobago, New York, Africa, Zambia, Kenya. Hallelujah. So he's going to pray for us. Reverend Lord, get you going to lead us out. We're going to join in with you. You can't see him, but he has registered here saying he's with us. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, we pray for the Jew, Lord. Yes, holy God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we have forgotten him. Oh, God. We have forgotten them, Lord. Oh, Jesus. They are scattered all across in the world. In the name of Jesus. And in prophecy, we talk about being alive to see, Lord, Jesus. how you are bringing them back in all complexion, not just in one complexion, all complexion. Jesus. So we are guilty, Lord. Forgive us. Yes, Jesus. We ask thee, Lord, yes, Jesus. to open the eyes. Yes, God. We are joining with Reverend Giff. In the name of He's Jesus. in New York here in Brooklyn. He's on board. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank Touch, Lord. Lord. Oh, Lord, they are yes. uh, listening around the world. And they are joining in with us. Call your friends quickly. Tell them I'm on board. Prescott is on board. We have the global prayer meeting. This is not parochial, please. It's global. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. As we, we call out, oh God, for the Jews, Lord. The Jews, Lord. Whatever stripe they come in, Lord, meet with them. Yes, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, reveal Yeshua to them, yes. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are no respect of any person. Oh, God, reveal yourself. Holy Ghost, reveal, your, reveal Christ to them. And Lord, you can reveal yourself to them. In visions. In dreams. By the wee small voice. You spoke to Elijah by the wee small voice, Elijah. Saul on the road to Damascus. Ah. You are blinding light and you spoke to him. Who art thou, Lord? Jesus. I am Jesus. If you prefer as a Jew to hear Yeshua, Okay, yes, sure. Hallelujah. It is hard for you to kick against the pricks. Oh, God, open their eyes, Lord. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, it will be tough on them to see that Yeshua came out of them and they did not make it. Zachariah said, when he returns, the women will weep one side, they will wail, the men one side, when they see the nail prints, in, when they see the stigmata in his hands and feet, they will say, wow, it's the same thing. Don't wait until then. You may not be around, you may be dead. Hallelujah. And all judgment is placed in the hand of Jesus. So kiss the son lest he be angry with you. Your psalmist said that. Kiss him. Hug him. Lord Jesus, we thank you for reverend gift. Jesus, yes, that is, Lord. yes, interceding, Lord. Jesus, yes, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, call your friends this Good Friday evening. I'm not preaching. It's praying we're doing. Yes, God. Hallelujah. I just give you facts why you should pray around the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My friends in Uganda, it's 11 o'clock in the night. Yes, they join us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, they are calling in from, they are looking at the program and telling their friends. They are not keeping it to themselves. And you can take this and put that afterwards on your cell phone. Hallelujah, you can go to Outreach Ministries International. You are going to see it there too. They pick it up from me here in New York and rebroad uh, live. So if you go to Outreach Ministries International, Jerry Prescott, you'll see it live on Facebook and you'll see it live on YouTube. Hallelujah. 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 But because I'm stranded in New York, no, 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 not stranded, please. Uh, I am what you call it, incarcerated like the rest of you. <laughs> God, God jail us in our own house. Thank God is in our own house and not in a prison cell. Uh, Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So please, yes, Reverend Gibb, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for those people, the people of the book, the people that gave us the book, the people that God used to give us the book. Oh, God, have mercy upon them. Reach out wherever they are around the world. God, at this time, touch them, Lord. Touch them, Lord. Touch them, Lord. Hallelujah, that they too can shout like us. They can say hallelujah. They can say, yes, I know him. I met him. He is my savior. Hallelujah. 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 Oh God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That you care. Father, you care for the people. The Jew. Hallelujah. Had God cast away his people? No. They had a good olive tree. But he has taken us, the wild olive, the Gentiles that believe and graft them into the good orange tree, the trunk. And contrary to nature, that don't happen. We're supposed to bear wild olives. Hallelujah. But God is a God of changes. Once we are grafted in, we bear good olives. Hallelujah. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Hallelujah. 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 I want you to, to pray for us. I'm calling on 
Oh, Sister James, and if your husband is there with you, Reverend James, hallelujah. I want you to pray that God will raise up out of the Jewish people, a people, some preachers, and hustlers for Jesus around the world. That the world would say, wait, are not these Jews? What has happened to them? Like on the day of Pentecost. Who are these? These are Galileans. Ignoramuses. But we hear them speaking in these languages. They don't know those languages. And what they were saying? They were speaking about the wonderful works of God. So, Sister James, you're going to join us. Hallelujah. You're going to lead us in prayer. We're going to join in. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. If you can raise up, O oh Lord, Gentile preachers, you can raise up Jews in these last days, Lord. They started off. They were the initiators through Jesus in the first 33 to 50 years. They made this as the church expanded. Jerusalem was overrun a generation later. And the church basically became Gentile. But now in these last days, God is going to pick up the Jew again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Go ahead, Sister Elsa James. Go ahead. You pray. We're joining with you. Hallelujah. You're going to raise up. Hallelujah. Believe us out of them. That will help us shake the world. This is the last hurrah of the church. This is a signal that the night is fast spent. Lord, hallelujah, open our eyes, Lord. Turn us into prayer warriors, intercessors, and cry like Jeremiah, oh, that our head will water us. And our eyes like a fountain of tears that we might weep for this world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, our sister. Go ahead. Pray. We're with you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, God. Hallelujah. This is unusual for today. We are praying. For the Jewish people. Those in Israel. They've gotten their homeland. In troublous times. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jerusalem shall be a copper trembling. Hmm. And a burdensome stone. To all the nations. That burden themselves with it. Hmm. Look at what's going on around Jerusalem. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus name. Oh God, don't forget you, the Jew, Lord. The Jew. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, the Jew, Lord, the Jew, the Jew, the Jew, the Jew. Oh. Raise up, Lord, raise up. Some fearless warriors, Lord. Pastors, evangelists, apostles, prophets, teachers. Hallelujah. Oh God, we need you said pray that the Lord of the half is Lord. Jesus, you said it. The half is is right. The laborers are true. Lord, you said it. Pray that the Lord of the harvest will send forth laborers. Hallelujah. Thanks for Jews or Jesus and the other groups that are working. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, 
Thank you for some of the evangelists, Jewish evangelists. We just have a, a handful of them. But God, I know you will remember your people. Yes, God. There's a remnant according to election must be saved. Yes, Hallelujah. Raise them up, Lord. Raise them up. From everywhere they are, Lord. To minister the word, yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, to help reap the harvest, Lord. Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. It's hustling time, Lord. Lord, help us to hustle. Help us to hustle, Lord. We are too laid back. Especially in the Western world. We have too much to eat. Hmm. Yes, Lord. Some years ago, I was in Canada preaching. I used to preach across Canada. And I heard some of the believers grumbling. That the eggs, and they were bigger, eh? out in the prairies, Saskatchewan, Alberta. If you see the big eggs, mm. they were paying 30, 30 cents a dozen. And they were quarreling, saying it should be 24 cents. Mm. Too much. The night I was preaching, I said, excuse me, you all have it too good in Canada up here. You quarrel them over a dozen eggs. They started to laugh because they realized I was aware of what was going on. 24 cents you wanted that. A dozen. I said, where I come from were well, smaller eggs for $2.40 a dozen. I said, you shouldn't talk. I said, you should be running around this church. Hallelujah and praising God. Yes. We in the Western world, in America, in Canada, in the Western Hemisphere, we have things too good. No, serious. We go into our wardrobe and we can do this. Thank God you have a wardrobe. You're deciding which color shoe to wear with your, your suit, sir. If you have a blue suit, the suit is blue, the, the shoe is blue, the socks is blue. This, the shirt is blue, the tie is blue, everything blue. You look as though you fall from the heavens, blue. <laughs> yes. And you complain. Maybe what is happening here will take that complaint out of us. This is only a precursor of what is to come. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Sister Jim, for calling on God. Hallelujah. That Israel, that the Jews, we will raise up a people out of the Jew. If Peter was so outstanding, and the apostles shook Jerusalem, and also Paul, and Barnabas, Paul, and Silas, the old Jews, and the cry was quite in Ephesus, the people that have turned the world upside down. I come here. Well, now they're going to say, the people that turn the world right side up because, we listen, it's so broken. You, you can't even show where, where the pieces are. But, oh God, today you have laid on our hearts to remember your people, Lord. Remember your people, Lord. Oh God, we thank you. Holy Ghost, we thank you that you can stimulate us. Yes, and direct us. We need more believers to be directed by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Philip went down to Samaria, sent by the Holy Ghost. And when he was finished, the Lord tell him to go down. To the road that leadeth to Gaza. And there he met the Ethiopian eunuch. Perchance he was an Ethiopian Jew. Strange. That thought never come to me. 
The same Ethiopians that claim the Falesha Jew, maybe he was one of them, but he was a brilliant fellow. Minister of Finance, personal, you call him a court Jew. That was what they called him then. He handled all the finance for the Queen of Ethiopia. But he was a eunuch, they had to alter him. In those days, they alter you when you're too near the Queen. Because this, the line, the lineage must be pure. Amen. So maybe he was a Felicia Jew. I didn't think about that. Amen. So God, you notice in the early church it was Jewish. Jewish. They worship in the temple. Peter used to go by the temple and preach and carry on. And from house to house. Hallelujah. God has to do something. There is a, a outpouring of the spirit. That is going to take place. That is going to shake. The very foundations of the world. And re rearrange the church of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Uganda has checked in with us. Hallelujah. That's right. RGC, Uganda. Thank you. So as I told you, this is not a parochial prayer meeting. It's global. And let me tell you this. It is time that the church opens its eyes and realizes they are indebted to the whole world. I am debtor to the Jew. And the Greek, Paul says, to the Greek, to the barbarian. We are debtors. We owe them something. Oh God, open our eyes and let us realize that we are debtors, Lord. The world doesn't owe us anything. We owe the world. Hallelujah. And money is not our problem. No. It is personal. Pray that the Lord of the harvest, the harvest is right. The harvest is great. Both ripe and both great. But the laborers are few. Money is not the issue. And if you believe money is the issue, the Bible says, the Bible says, and when you get that, gee, God said the gold is mine. The silver is mine. The oath is my own, he says. The oath is the Lord's. You repeat that in Sunday school and the fullness thereof. Everything in the sea and on the land and under the land is his own. Amen. Come on. Are you still saying, well, money is the issue? No, 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 no. Cut back on your luxurious living. You will leave it anyhow. You are going to leave it anyhow when you die or when the trumpet sounds. Hallelujah. We're going to ask Sister Lord. Hallelujah. And Sister Pitt. So we're asking two different people to lead us out now. Hallelujah. That God will open our eyes. That we can see over our eyes. That we can see that the Jew need to hear the gospel. I'm asking two ladies to pray. Hallelujah. And we are joining in. Yes, Lord. Lord, open the believer's eyes, Lord. Let us not be selfish. Lord, convict us, Lord. Holy Ghost, convict us. Bring conviction on us. To the believers, oh God, in Japan, in China, across Asia, in Mongolia, Euroasia, hallelujah, India, Pakistan, yeah, Burma, oh God, wherever they are in the Middle East, Lord. Hallelujah. Running for their lives. Convict them, Lord. 
convict us, open our eyes, open our eyes. Holy Ghost, you are the one who could bring conviction. And especially, Lord, in Western Europe, oh Lord, open the eyes. Uh, convict, convict the believer. I'm talking of Lord about the believer, us. Convict us. You know, the Americas, Lord. It has nothing to do with rich and poor. Well, Brother Prescott and Paul, the need of Paul, ask God, he will supply your needs. Hallelujah. Yes. Sister Lord and Sister Pitt, come on, join in. Hallelujah. You are leading us in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you. Oh, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Open our eyes, Lord. Let us put you first. You said, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added. Seek first, seek first. Yes, Lord. Not seek my business, my thing. No, you're no more, is no more my. It's the Lord. I am crucified with Christ. That's what Paul said. Hallelujah. We were once slaves of sin, but you saved us so we become slaves. Love slaves to you. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. From Uganda, everywhere, join in with us, please. We're praying that God will open our eyes. We are not just responsible for Africa, for Uganda, for North America. No, 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 no. The Jew, we are responsible for him. Yes, Lord. Amen. It's one nation group we are not concentrating on. That's right. For years, among the Chinese in diaspora, we have Chinese church. The Italian, Italian church. The Mexican, Mexican church. Yes. That was how we did it. You go to Uganda, you have... Ugandan church, the Bugandas one way, the Acholi another way in Kenya, the Kikuyu one way. Hey, listen, the day so that is over. No, it's over. Christ died for all. We are responsible. Yes. For the Jew, the forgotten people, the forgotten people in diaspora and even in Israel. Lord, help us. Help us, Lord. Help us. Help us, Lord. Oh, Lord, help us. Help us. Help us, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Yes, cleanse us with your blood, Lord. Cleanse us with your blood. For turning a blind eye to the Jew. Yes, Lord. A deaf ear to the Jew. Yes, Lord. At this Passover, Lord. Lord, remember them, Lord. Hallelujah. The cradle of Christianity and they are out, Lord. Approximately 18 million Jews, might be less or more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we spend little time trying to reach them. Hallelujah. And we go to the ends of the world. To try to get into a lost tribe somewhere. Nothing wrong with that. No, nothing wrong with that. Hallelujah. They're joining from around the world. Canada. Across America. The Caribbean. Uganda. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. All over. London. Everywhere. Oh God, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Thank you. Sister Grace Batingi. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, thanks for joining in with us. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> My wife say Uganda. See, ladies, just remember things. I know it's African. Thank you, Sister Grace. Yes, Uganda. 
Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. We have the, the, the Uganda is seen with us, seen that they, from so far listening. They're going to pray now. We want you to, to pray. Sister Grace. Hallelujah. And Pastor, wherever you are, if you are some in the office, some in your bedroom, wherever they are, thank God. The more, the better, the merrier. If one pray, what about one across there, one across their homes? Hallelujah. Yes, that's right. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Sister Grace, you're going to lead us. Asking God. Hallelujah. To touch the Jewish women. I'm not referring to the men before the, the women before the Jew. But as a lady asking you. And you folks in Uganda right now. To pray that God will touch those Jewish women around the world. New York, Toronto, London. Where they, the bulk are. Hallelujah. Those that remain in Ethiopia are still there. Those down in South Africa, wherever they are. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we join with them, Lord. Quite in Uganda, we join with them. Hallelujah. We join with them, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. We thank you. Yet, they are so far. Almost 12 o'clock over there. Hallelujah. But they are in prayer with us. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, we join with Sister Grace and the people in Redeemed Gospel Church in Kampala, Uganda. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Oh, God, remember the Jewish women. The Jewish women, Lord. From the oldest to the youngest. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God, yes, Lord, remember them. Save them, Lord. Save them. Save them, Lord. Hallelujah. God. Out of them could come some Esther, some Hannah's, Lord. Oh Hallelujah. Come on, Lord. You, do, you don't discriminate. You don't do that. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. You said whatsoever we shall ask. In your name, you will do it that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Lord, let there be rejoicing right now around the world for people who have listened to this who are not saved, but they get saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, yes. Yes, Lord. Shake those women, Lord. Save them. Deliver them. Heal them. Whatever they need, Lord, do it, Lord. Raise up some Jewish women, Lord. Fearless. That they will say, if I perish, you Jews remember, it's a hot price to give your life to Christ. Your family might repudiate you, cut you off. But Moses preferred to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Moses, your lawgiver, he gave up more. He walked out from a prince of Egypt. Egypt was at his feet. The greatest orator Egypt ever produced was Moses. Mighty in words and in deeds. The greatest military commander. He was commander of the armed forces of Egypt. Yes. Mighty in words and in deeds. Hallelujah. And he gave it up. <laughs> when he was come to years. And he realized that he's not an Egyptian. That he's a Jew. And he found out his purpose. He could have stayed. <laughs> Became Pharaoh. But no. 
He preferred to suffer. What if you give your life to Christ and your family disown you? What of that? God become your father. Jesus become your elder brother. Ah, and the Holy Ghost becomes your keeper. And the angels, your guardians. <laughs> and the believers in the church become your new family. Look at the arrangement, man. Woo! That is an arrangement. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Uganda, we thank you for calling out and praying and leading us in prayer. We thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes. I know there are going to be miracles going to happen out of this global prayer. Miracles, all kinds of things going to happen. We may not hear about it, but when we get to heaven at the beamer seat, judgment of Christ, you shall hear, well done, oh sister. Jesus. Well done. Sometimes nobody, you, you're, you're not anybody to talk about. But God records what the world doesn't know about. Ah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Peter George, God bless you for joining in. You're regular every afternoon. You're there with us. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. And let me tell you this. I want you to start up the same thing. A global prayer meeting. It's a unique time, you know. 90% or more of the world is incarcerated in their homes. We won't have this opportunity again. Be a part of the call. You see, devil lock us in. You have to keep your distance now. Six feet minimum. So you can't stop and talk to anybody. You have to shout across to them. <laughs> no. I get my wings clip. <laughs> I get my wings clip because I, I, I can't stop but talk to people. No, if I only a tempo there and I see somebody coming, I go on the other side. Keep your distance. Uh -huh. So this is the only time in the house <laughs> to call upon God. <laughs> My wife cracking up here with laugh because she know me. When they, when she sent me out, she had to tell me, hey, 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 don't salute nobody quick. I need this now because I will forget. Soon as I see people, I get itchy to talk to them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I am not a pastor, please. I don't pastor a church. I like to emphasize that. I'm an evangelist. Yes. I'm an evangelist for years now. Hallelujah. I am an evangelist. I am president of Outreach Ministries. I don't have membership like a church. No, 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 no. I help the church. A pastor could trust me to come on his pulpit and help him reap. Some folks, they pose as an evangelist, get in the churches. And when you look, they start up a church down the road. Yes, I am not into that. I believe in depopulating the mouth of hell. Because hell has enlarged our borders. And populate the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Sister Pip, God bless you. Yes, yes, yes. You and Sister Lord for praying for the Jewish women. I want to pray now for the men. 
the Jewish men. That from the oldest to the youngest. You see them on the streets. Yes. Hallelujah. I would like to call Denison Whiteman, Canada, to pray for the Jewish men. Male, whether it's man, woman, I mean man or boys, I'll call Martin Wheeler too. One on the East Coast of America and one in Canada. You all lead off. That's right. Martin Wheeler. Down in Maryland. And white man in Toronto. Hallelujah. You're going to lead us. We're praying for the Jewish men. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We want men to carry the message. Because if we get the men, Lord, if you save them, the whole family going to get saved. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Join in with these two men. One praying way up and all who is with him up in Canada and down on the east coast of America. Yes, Lord. Amen. We join with them, Lord. Hallelujah. We join with them, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, men, Lord, Jewish men. Jewish men, Lord. Hallelujah. Whether it's in America, South America, or Israel, and better yet, if it's in Israel. Hallelujah. Greater influence if the men in Israel, Israelis, the Sabres, born and bred there. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, save, 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 save. Save, Lord. Holy Ghost, make Christ real. Holy Spirit, make Christ real to this man, the Jewish man, Lord. Hallelujah. Let there be miracles among them. Appear to them in dreams and visions like you do to other people, Lord. You're doing it in the Arab areas. Hallelujah. You did it to Saul at Tarsus. Hallelujah. You appear to Cornelius, an angel, brought a message. Thy prayer is heard. It is, it is a memorial in the sight of God. Sin for so and so. Yes, Lord. Do it again, Lord. You have not changed. The years have not changed thee. You don't wax old as a garment. Morning by morning, great is your faithfulness. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. They're checking in from all over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for saving Jewish men, women, rabbis. Hallelujah. We thank you. I don't care where they are, professor, the one walking in a grocery. Hallelujah. Once they are, belong to the human race, save them, Lord. Save them, Lord. Save them, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you. Remember to pray for us, please. We need your prayer. Now, tomorrow, please, God, the Lord willing, will be unique. At 9 a.m. tomorrow, I will be back again. Eastern Standard Time. I must believe that because, you see, Uganda knew when to join in. Kenya will know South Africa. Russia will know when to join in. So we are 9 a.m. AM Eastern Standard Time. Then 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Then at 11 o'clock, I will be directly going into outreach ministries from here. Amen. 
We do that every Saturday. We broadcast around the world. Hallelujah. So, Lord, I want you all folks to pray for me, please. I need the extra strength. Hallelujah. This is not by might, no by power. When I say strength, I need divine strength. Once I get the divine strength, I'll get the physical strength. Hmm. Yes. Hallelujah. I want to pray for these requests, please. The Ojuku family. They have a debt in their family. That's right. My daughter's neighbor in New Jersey. Ruth. They've been very good to her. Remember to pray for her. Hallelujah. A lady wrote and says, a marac she, uh, her son is in Boston. Pray for her. We have Sister Young. She has improved tremendously. We can give God praise. Lord, I thank you. Brother William, Brother Basil, young lady pregnant. It's dangerous times now to be pregnant. A lot of you ladies are saying, thank God. <laughs> You're not pregnant at this time. Mm. What did we... Wait. On the news last night, a mother gave birth to a child. She was... Had the... It was on Facebook. She had the virus. And the child born with the same thing. Medical science couldn't say what... They can't say what will happen. This fellow that we have, He's a very strange fellow, you know. He's behaving as a human being. He's behaving strange, very strange. Oh. And there's no cure up to today. It's a hit and miss. But thank God there's one cure, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And my son-in-law, he's almost true. Almost. And God will finish it. And Reverend Reed in Tobago, his brother died suddenly a week ago. Remember them in prayer. Hallelujah. Lord, I lay my hand on these, Lord. That's one. I put my hand up to the screen. So wh whatever your sickness is, God does not discriminate. Heal some and discard some. Amen. Only believe and you shall see the glory of God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I ask you, God, whether they have the virus or they don't have the virus. Could be they have other underlying sicknesses. Oh, God, help them. Heal them. Deliver them. So that they can give you the glory. Lord, heal your son body by his stripes we were healed that's what peter said lord heal deliver from the powers of darkness translate them into the kingdom of your dear son wherever they are around the world lord prove yourself strong to deliver in the name of jesus amen on the screen, you're going to see on Outreach Ministries International. You'll see it there. If you have some, you can't do it in your church, you don't have the facility, then call this number, 868-326-1745. This is Trinidad. The studio is in Trinidad. 868-223-6845. And then my, my roving telephone is 868-791-9626. In New York, 646-353-2206. And then 718-495-4043. Outreach Ministries International, Jerry Prescott. I'm Jerry Prescott, by the way. Uh, listen. 
Tomorrow is a tough assignment. Not that I'm not accustomed to it. Eh? In Africa, <laughs> sometimes you preach four or five times a day. Yes. So that's all right. Just pray for me, please. Pray for us. That God will give me the right thing to say. So that somebody or some set of people will get touched. I have to leave you now. Thanks for joining in. See you at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Then at 11, it's just about a half an hour at 11. I'll be there again. And then at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's, I want to deal with the resurrection, the power, the power. You hear me? I say the power. The greatest thing, power, explosion of power the world has ever seen. Never before. Force of its kind. The resurrection. And Paul said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. And where that lies, who raised him from the dead? Tune in tomorrow, you're going to find out. Have a good night. If you're going to sleep, shout hallelujah. Yes, who? Jesus. And if you're a Jew, Yeshua. <laughs> yeah. If you're Spanish, Jesus Christo. Shalom. Hasta la vista la mañana. And to an anarchy See you tomorrow. If you're eating your lunch now, enjoy the lunch in Jesus' name. Oh, wait, please. I can't live without praying for the first responders. Lord, the responders, the responders, they are in the trenches. Especially the ambulance drivers and the attendants on the ambulance. They're going into the pits to take them out. Help them, Lord. They have families, Lord. Cover them, Lord. The research scientists, the doctors, the nurses. Oh, God, those that are testing the, the, the thing to see if you are thing. They too. All of them, the first responders, Lord. Help them, Lord. Cover them around the world, around the world. No discrimination, God. And you ladies and men that are believers in the first responders, help those that are not believers. Pray for them. Encourage them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And the, 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 the leadership. Oh, Lord, help those leaders, Lord. Help them to make the right decision, Lord. You can influence their decisions, Lord. And we ask all these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Until tomorrow. I don't want to complicate things anymore. You bring me to my knees. I'm shouting.
Somebody present. Somebody present. Right now. Right now. Somebody. Anybody. Somebody present. Yeah. Ha. So, move your feet. Uh, move your hands. Uh, yeah. Somebody. Uh, Somebody pressing, what you say? Somebody, anybody, hey. somebody pressing. Somebody, anybody, yeah. 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 Oh, you could call me crazy, but I come to praise Almighty. Man, I do business, but nobody. I come to worship my daddy. So don't feel the way if you see me jumping up in the air, say hey. Don't feel the way if you see me on them up in the air, say hey. Somebody, somebody, anybody, anybody, somebody pressing, yeah, ha, pressing, move your feet, uh, move your hands, uh, somebody you pray, somebody, hey, these days of in of your worship, uh, are you worship, these days of in of your worship, uh, as I said, somebody pressing, what you say? Somebody, somebody, anybody, anybody, somebody pressing.